So impromptu podcast. Um, I actually follow this page called Laugh Mail that oh asks questions to the, the the peoples, just to anybody, to get the response. Um, I want to ask you the question first, us the question, see what our answer is, and then I'll read off some of the comments. Oh boy, reading off some of the comments is just. Something I thought of right now. So, <laughs> um, this is this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, you start a sex toy company. What's your slogan? I have no idea. <laughs> I just saw it. Good vibrations. <laughs> it's a song. <laughs> that is just it. That's just that's a copyright. <laughs> <I> can, that, <laughs> they, they, get, they don't own the slogan. I, I was going, all, I got, all I'm going to say is I think they own the title. Good vibrations. Yeah, yeah, this will also work for a construction company. You got holes we can fill. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. Let me see what people put. That's Your tough. business is our pleasure. <laughs> That's good. You it should see, know it. On the spot, I would be able to do it. This is tough, though. I'm over here. Honestly, this should be the other way around. Your pleasure is our business. That's that's what it should be. Our business is your pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I, this was simple. In it to win it. In it to win. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That's tough. That's a that's a good one. Uh, ordered yesterday, came today. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Don't worry. If you can't please them, we can. <laughs> no. What did you say? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, plug and play. <laughs> oh, these, these are top tier. Plug and play, top. <laughs> Come as you are. <laughs> <laughs> the ding dong you won't ditch. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> Either way, you coming? <laughs> that sounds like my kind of. Oh shit! <laughs> Toys in us. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I love and oh, hate that's the internet. Ah, oh, in and out. That's what it's all about. That's what it's. Oh, that's what a hamburger's all about. But this one's that. that's what it's all about. Well, did someone say KFC? I have no idea. <laughs> Any hole is a goal. <laughs> Wow. If it's still tight, you're not hitting it right. Oh. Since it's a toy store, right? Can I just say where an adult can be an adult? That, yeah, that's a good one. That's solid. That was like classy. That's classy. Like a lot of these, you know, are just like jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was classy. I, I would do that. Where an adult can be an adult. We make them, you break them. Whew. <laughs> 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 you, oh, shit. you make them, we break them. <laughs> oh, that's the other way around. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, oh, that's why they said KFC. I get it now. Finger looking good. You see, I thought so too, but I'm just like, uh. <laughs> dang it! I didn't. That didn't click until, until I saw another comment. Okay, next question. Next question. Oh, this is actually one that I saved. If you could permanently delete one song. From the face of the earth, never to be played or heard by anyone ever again. What song would it be? So a song is going to get deleted from the face of the earth. From the face of the fucking earth. It will never, ever be played or heard ever again. Any any song in the world. You know, that's a, that's a good one, you know. Cause you know there are songs that are really annoying, but it's just like it's it's annoying because it got like overplayed. I have a, quite a few. You have a few songs that you hate that much. I only have two that I can think of right now, but I know I have a handful that I just can't. I can't. It's an automatic pass, and it'll ruin my day if I hear it. 
First one is is um freaking last Christmas and uh, my, my wham oh my god next day you can't even know I just I that <laughs> song is so bullshit that's like one of the worst Christmas songs ever it just put I I don't I'm, and I don't hate a lot of things it's just it just does not put me in a good mood I don't like it, it does, it's a it's heartbreak a, song it's a very whiny song and yeah. just like no shut up yeah, uh, yeah, I I get that one one song for me. I don't know the I don't know the title. I just hate the dream, his voice, oh. and you know this, you know this. A lot of people know this. If you know me close about music, you know his <laughs> voice is just irritating. We you, <laughs> I hate his voice. You know if it's your, if, if it's your cup of tea, by all means. I remember we were driving, we were driving a long ass time ago. It was in your, uh, it wasn't a priest, insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was your, it was your, it was your iPod on shuffle. It came on. I was like, oh, man, I hate this guy. He turned it up. I said, boy, if you don't stop playing with me. <laughs> sh- 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 sugar, sugar, honey, ice iced tea. tea. I, Pretty as his ice I, tea. I hate <laughs> his voice, man. <laughs> Everything about it. With you, it's so whiny. Here's the thing: like there are whiny with singers, <laughs> like like uh oh no, you want you want out song? I mean, this is this is just like the meme song. Remember Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black? Yeah, that one, that one play. You know what? Top talk about meme songs. The top tier one is uh never gonna give you a. Oh no, that's gonna... top tier. That's that top one tier. I would have to give her just because I just hear it's I the remember... intro. I think it's the intro. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's what that's the Rick Roll. I remember the first time you got Rick Rolled. You you were at my house. What was it about? You you were on YouTube. And I was like super excited for whatever the fuck it was. No, you, it don't, don't say excited because <laughs> uh, I remember the video being like the time it was like before clickbait was a term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was um, uh, Joe Jonas falls off stage at concert. <laughs> You like I like, said, I was excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, oh, what? Do, 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 do. And you were like, oh. And I was like, oh, man, you just got Rick Roll. And he was like, that's the first time I've ever. Well, Rick Roll was already a thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. My, during the MySpace days, it was, it was already oh, yeah. a thing. Oh, that's another, that's another question, actually. Hold on. Before we get to that question, let me, um, uh, let me read some of the, uh, the comments. Um. Someone said they would delete the ABCs <laughs> and just watch chaos. Jesus. Uh, Baby Shark. Oh. Uh, let it go from Frozen. No. Let me see what, what, what. Oh, what, that one is. What, t- yeah, I would. What? That one would be in my list. <laughs> um, a lot of people. Uh, I think it's because it was trending a while ago. Sweet Caroline. Yeah, that's fun. I know. It's just because, like, everyone's been doing Sweet Caroline. Caroline. Ba, 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 ba. Actually, you want to know what song that's just got overplayed that I don't even like listening to is Don't Stop Believing. Don't Dirty. Stop It's just so overplayed. A lot of people said because it was... Uh, uh, it was just Christmas season. Uh, Mariah Carey, uh, All of Christmas is You. Every year, the anthem comes back. Uh, someone said, Hey, Soul, Soul Sister by Train. How's that one? Despacito. Despa- How does Hey, Soul, hey, hey, Soul, Soul Sister. Sister? Okay, that hey, was fine. Yeah. Um, Gangnam Style. That's a throwback. That's a throwback. And then, yeah, of course, a lot of people said, uh, they're gonna give you up. Okay, but the question that, that you brought up: What early internet website did Gen Z really miss out on? MySpace. You brought it up. Got it. MySpace, all top tier. Top like you tier. just, it was like MySpace would 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 break friendships if you weren't in someone's top four. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <so> stupid. <laughs> Matt is making uh, 
have us making executive decisions at the age of freaking whatever age we were at that time. But let me tell you, it taught every child on earth how to do website coding. That is, yeah. The yeah. way you would make your profile, some of these motherfuckers were elaborate. I had, a, I had an old girl that, uh, that, that showed me the ins and outs of MySpace. I was just like, damn. This is I just wanted it simple, but yeah. Make your make your 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 uh was that that cruiser oh, a yeah, different yeah. shape and mm-hmm. different effects. I was like, yo. Your your, your inbox the, the the song that was on your on your page that played. Making like you know when you scroll, like you can scroll and the whole page scrolls, you can yep. you could make the profile picture and the header f- stay fixed. So even yep. though you scrolled, those still say stay in the same part of the page and everything else scrolls like that i was <laughs> <laughs> yeah doc. and then when it was over i was like let's go to let's go to friendster let's go to let's go to facebook and i was just like okay uh, I, I never got on friendster i went on friendster for like a week yeah yeah and you i know, go like Ugh. it's funny because when, when people talked about it i was like just add me on myspace what are you talking about yeah uh, even when facebook came out but then everyone like populated over to facebook and i was like okay but then, uh, Timothy De La Ghetto said, said it said it right. It's like you know, MySpace is kind of like the the teen, you know, getting dressed up, you know, looking looking like fancy, like trying to trying to stunt on people. And then Facebook is like a more just simple, like classy, almost elegant type of thing where it's like you don't need to do all the super decorations or yeah. have a, a song playing. It's just you know, it's there. About, about you and I was like, I guess. Yeah, when I went on Facebook, I felt like an actual adult. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The vibe was very just. But no one wants to hear my my profile song. <laughs> yeah, nobody, wanted, nobody wanted that. No, guys, no, that. no. All right, I want to see what what other people say. Um, uh, man, people people are talking about uh, game game websites like Club Penguin. <laughs> Happy Wheels. Oh, okay. Someone said uh, MySpace or Vine. 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 Vine I think Vine. The shit. I think it, it changed. I, Vine. It changed a lot. Vine awakened everybody's like ADHD and their short attention span. No, actually, yeah. Because of Vine, everyone's attention span like got really short. Yeah. Because you only had six seconds to to, to fit. Yeah. Something interesting, in, and you had to be super creative. But I will say that Vine uh, created a new generation of of like uh, entertainment content creators. Oh yeah. Because like everyone was hopping on on YouTube and trying to do you know the YouTube thing. Uh, but with Vine, it's just like it was so quick. And what made it what made it big is that celebrities were doing vines because celebrities were like, oh, what's this Vine thing about? Yeah, and they would do some like really, really quick and clever too, which you didn't see celebrities do on YouTube or on uh, on Facebook or or any of the other social media pages. Like Twitter was a thing, definitely, and Instagram um, didn't have videos yet. So Vine, I think, really set them up. And then you know, of course, um, uh, Facebook slash Instagram just steals everything. So now you got like. Of course, of course. Watch the whole last movies on that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what other ones? What other ones? RuneScape. Yeah, yeah RuneScape. RuneScape is still available, though. Maple Story. Um, it's a Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing on, on Craigslist? <laughs> old math games. Old, uh, old Disney games. Man, the 625 sandwich game was my shit. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit. Oh my god! It's not a website. It's a program. LimeWire. Oh, LimeWire. LimeWire, the cancer of your uh, of your <laughs> computer. That gave you cancer, gonorrhea, and hepatitis. <laughs> that, <gave> you, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was before like torrent websites and shit. Yep. LimeWire was the death. What was to the other any one? Computer. What was uh, what Napster? There you go. That, that was created by um, what's his name? Uh, one of the guys that that um, 
that uh, that helped develop my or not my Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, 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 I forget yeah. his name. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Live leak. Is the live leak still around? I still see that thumbnail. You want to know what actually really what really irritated me with uh, with uh, like Facebook is when. People would like send you a message with like, "Hey, yo, this is hilarious," and then they send you a link. Yeah. And back then, it was like, okay, you can find a video wherever. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily on YouTube, or it would be a YouTube link and hidden in like embedded in it is a, a redirect link to somewhere else. Yeah. And it would lock you to like, like, it would like open up a page and it would be like someone screaming at the top of their lungs, and like. It would make your computer freeze, so you couldn't fucking. Ex- oh, I hated that shit. There was. I hated. It. I'll never forget. I think I don't know if you were with me. It was uh, with the Vio Aristo, uh, and another dude. I forgot his name. Was it Gabriel? We we were at we were at their house, and I forgot what happened. But this kid said, "Oh, this website." They told me about it, <laughs> and it was. It was a. It just popped up to a link of two dudes going into the shower, and as soon as you press X, the window would move. <laughs> the utter sheer that all of us had in that room, and just us adolescent boys screaming on the top of my lungs, of our lungs, every time we're trying to, we're trying to exit. But we're forced to watch this video. It keeps moving. We're just ah! <laughs> like we don't want to look, but we have to look because we're trying to find where the. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I'll never forget that night because I would never trust any website that was given to me by a friend of a friend because that's what happened. That's and it wasn't given to me; it was given to the kid Gabriel or whoever his name. Yeah, was. and that's mad funny. No. Um. Oh, here here goes one that I wanted to ask you. What restaurant do you refuse to eat at? Subway. Really? Yeah. Is it because of Jared? <laughs> no. <I'm gonna> <laughs> if you guys don't know, Jared, if your boy is hungry, he's gonna eat. <laughs> if you guys don't know who uh, Jared from Subway is, you'll find out after you search it. Why, why Subway though? You know, I'm I'm never the one to be like, oh, I had a bad experience at this place. And I'll never go there again. Mm-hmm. It have it just happened to be Subway to do it. I just got, and I've never gotten a, a salad from there, from Subway, and I did, mm-hmm. and it just fucked my day up. Really? Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. To fuck your. And day then up. ever since then, I tried to go back, and there was little things about like different Subways that I went that just turned me off. Like the meat looked weird. I kept seeing flies in there, like oh, like gnats. And stuff? Yeah, like the gnats, and they're like prep station and the oh, cookies, and I was just like, that's disgusting. You know what I'm good. Yeah, no, I, that's disgusting. You know what I'm, I'm good. I mean, Subway's definitely mm-hmm. like low on the list. Um, but yeah, I anywhere else I, I wouldn't mind going eating. I had never been to an Olive Garden. And you, I, oh, you have it. We gotta. I know. Uh, never been to an Olive Garden. Um, I have been to Red Lobster. Okay. Red Lobster's fire. You. I no, mean, expensive. Mind. I mean, yeah. considering. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But uh, for me, oh, it's just Subway. That's it. Subway. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever had uh an instance where where I would never go back. Yeah. Right? There was a period of time when you were when you and I were hanging out, uh, two thousand nine, twenty ten, where pretty much every day or every other day we would eat at Jack in the Box. I thought it was, I was supposed to say McDonald's. But That's, you're right. I mean, you're right, Jack in the Mc, Box. Too. McDonald's, but this is before the McDonald's opened up in the neighborhood, remember? So right. right down the street from Summit, the Jack in the Box, next to the gas station, we'd go there. I remember fucking, I remember fucking, do you remember Arlen's favorite fucking order? It was curly fries with barbecue sauce, and then she'd go to the fucking uh, Starbucks and get the, the Java chip. Yeah. You know? Extra chip or some shit like yeah, that. Some yeah. bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, what type of unhealthy, that? that's the equivalent of like the, the, the hot Cheetos and Diet Coke person at school. Fuck, the and the nacho cheese. Oh yeah, and the nacho and cheese. The nacho yeah, cheese. yeah, yeah. <sighs> Not, uh, <laughs> but because we ate at Jack in the Box so often, I got so sick of it. Like even now, like like I'll eat it. I'm just like, man, 
I think I've eaten this so many times in my life where it's like... You know what? You're right. I think I have <clears throat> eaten enough Jack in a Box where I actually... The only reason I go for it is because I know it's open late. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the food will hit after hours. Mm-hmm. Especially from a drunk girl. <laughs> after, like, hours. after hours. After hours. <laughs> But I I get you. I you know what happened was um I went to um what was that called Boston's is it Boston's Boston's the the like uh, the barbecue uh, not barbecue but like uh, it's bar American the bar Boston's uh, oh, bar where is it do you know the do you know the McDonald's off the two ten off Sierra <clears throat> two ten Sierra, like yeah. where Sierra Lakes is yep. There's that bar there. I forgot what it's called, but I, I went there. Oh man, I haven't, I haven't been to that corner in a minute. I went there so. in about a month. If we go, if we go like for a trip, that place looks almost unrecognizable. Like there'll be little spots. Like I remember this. I remember the lows. I remember the chase. But there's like new like spots. Yeah, yeah and I'm just like, yo, this is weird. Mm-hmm. But I drove by the McDonald's and it was already late, and I was just like, man, the memories that we went to this McDonald's because I know there was only three major spots. Well, two. Bro. One was of course the one off Summit. That other one was off Sierra, Sierra yeah. off two ten. Would there be one more, or is it just those two? Those two, huh? I think because we just normally stayed up north, anyways. Yeah, we were we were always in the area. Actually, there's one place that only me, you, and Clarence went to, Burger Town, USA. Man, off a of cherry. Burger Town, USA yeah. was my love. Was my love for patty melt started? Really? That was <laughs> but patty melt with some barbecue sauce and ranch on the side. Mm? Boy. Yeah, yo, Burger Town USA. Give it to me live. I'll tear that up right now. <laughs> Fire. Fire. I haven't been since, I think, when we went last, back in, like, 2010. Sloth! <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I think it was one of our very first, like, we have plenty of jokes, but I'll never forget us dying at that Burger Town because there was that lady. I don't know what, what she did, but she was just hunched over. And then you just looked at me and you pointed. You were like, Sloth! and he just died of laughter that whole day it was just so random and it was we it had was, some, so many dumb jokes but <laughs> there's a ton of inside jokes burger town usa yeah that, that one that one i kind of i want to know if it's still there i think it is is it god so. bless that spot no, if it is we gotta go I, we do gotta go. i feel like it should be because that that location of where it's at off cherry it's surrounded by nothing but industrial places, well, like industrial offices, not warehouses. But, but it's like right next to the um, the neighborhood there too. Like that. That too. That's a, yeah, yeah. That, that Corbell used to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, like that whole area, like you know, uh, a place called Miguel Juniors. Yeah. So it's, I, it's like right. It's right next to. Yeah, yeah. So I ate there for the first time like maybe like a month ago. Oh really? Yeah. It's, good. it's actually really good. Uh, uh, I don't know if I've eaten. Yeah, it's actually really good. I was actually thoroughly impressed by it. Oh, man. Um, but, um, like, that whole area is, because, like, right up the street is is Baseline. It's, like, just north of Foothill. Mm-hmm. I, do you, I remember when we was struggling. Up there. I mean, granted, we were young. We were still in high school. I just graduated. And... Uh, to get money, we would recycle cans and shit. Oh, boy. Man. <laughs> man we'd be like, man, this $20. I'm going to get some burgers. Put put a fiver in gas. <laughs> chill the rest of the day. Dude, the five, the five in gas got us to places. You know? <laughs> just just you sing it now. It got us Five dollars in gas got us places in your Nissan Sentra. <laughs> yes, bro. Just thinking of, I'm thinking about it now. Five dollars ain't gonna get me anywhere. It, 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 <laughs> It'll just get me to the next gas station, <laughs> bro. That shit is wild. It, <laughs> when you said put a fiver in there, and I was just like, where the we went everywhere. <laughs> we went. We, we went places. We went to Summit. Yep. Went to Victoria Gardens. <laughs> Back to Summit, back to the park, back to home, <laughs> and they dropped me off, and we were good for the day. We would we would go from from Sierra Lakes, I'd pick your ass up, we'd go to Summit, link with our peeps, maybe go to Ontario Bills, I'd drop her back off, go back home, we'd sneak out late at night, go to some dumbass park after I picked everybody up, and then still get back home after dropping all you off. Man, we, we made moves. 
fuck? With the fact that you said fire bread, I I was like not traumatized. I was very surprised. I was like, how did we live for yeah. five dollars off gas? That's wild. That shit was crazy. I remember, man, the struggles real. I remember the times when I could only afford a gallon of gas. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, I know my car gets twenty six miles to the gallon. I'm gonna get up with six miles. I'm gonna do it. That got us places, bro. That shit is so funny. Man, it's funny. Like, who do you still stay in contact with from Summit? It's like only a handful of people. Hmm? It's like only a handful of people. Same. Like, I mean, I'm still, like, in my eyes, I'm still cool with a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, like if they hit me up and we chat, yeah. I'm, I'm cool about it, but. Like stay grounded with like it's you, Clarence, Sam. Honestly, I don't talk to them as much. No. Uh, I mean, we obviously live together, but you know they're grown ass people too. Who else? Um, I mean, it's funny because uh, uh, when we went bar hopping in in um Redlands, yeah, me, Dalt, and Rocky were talking, and then. Uh, so, something came up. I said some shit, and she was like, "No, you're not." Like, like uh, Dalton wouldn't abandon you. I was like, "What are you talking about? I'm disposable." She was like, "She was like, you guys went to high school together." I was like, "And we started becoming friends like, like over the past like five years." Yeah. Like we hung out with the same people. Yeah. But we just never like connected. Like, like I had no, I had no beef with. with yeah. Yeah. Like that's that's the homie still. Like even like during high school, like, oh don't that's what's up. Yeah. Like, but I never like had one on ones with him. Yeah. And, like now or like we're a little bit closer. But like a lot of the friends that outside like honestly, like you clear and Sam, my best friends, y'all my brothers. Everybody else, like even though like I, I would consider some of them brothers too, like K J mm-hmm. and uh I mean I do I do connect with uh Derek every so often. It's like, I just don't get to, to see them. I mean, friend, it's been 14 years. Uh, I graduated in 2009. But I saw all of them in, like, 2010. So, like, 14 years since we actually yeah. had, like, like fun, fun time and get grounded. But I don't know. I just haven't been hanging out. Maybe it's partly my fault because I just haven't been reaching out to people. Yeah, but, you, you know, it, we're, that, that's the thing, I think, like, moving on, like, in life you just you're busy and caught up right like i think the real ones no matter what happens in life they'll always be there you don't have to talk to them every day like a handful of them i don't talk to them every day but there are a handful i do but yeah it's just like i don't have to talk to them every day to know that they're my homies you know no valid like i still consider like, all the friends that i had in high school that i was cool with, i still consider them friends. yeah like I, I find it weird that some people are like i went to high school with them like, okay say what's up and they're like nah why? Like, well, we haven't talked in years. So? You've been busy. Yeah. Like, like there have been times where I'm, like, with someone, and <clears throat> and we're, like, in the mall or somewhere, and they see someone that they know. Like, oh, I know that. Fine. Go say what's up. Like, ah, oh, nah, man. This is awkward. I'm like, why is it awkward? You're just going to say hi? Why can't you say hi to a, to a friend that you had? Yeah. I mean, it, just because you guys didn't talk doesn't mean you stopped being friends. Maybe that's just my personality, because I see a lot of people that are like, yeah. Because if I see someone like, do you remember remember Ryan Ginto? Yeah, yeah. That's the boy. I remember I didn't see him. But like I think it's like levels to people. Like if there was like a person like Ryan Ginto or like the people that we saw like daily, like I would say what's up. But then if it's like someone that I kind of vaguely remember, I wouldn't say what's up to him. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm saying like if it was if you would consider them like a friend. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. A closer not Less, no acquaintances. Yeah, yeah, Like, we were around the same people. Yeah. Like Dolph. If I saw Dolph, like, in the middle of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, before we started connecting, I'm like, oh, that's Dolph. Like, but, like, if I saw someone, like, like Ryan, like, because I didn't see Ryan since, like, 2009. But then when both of us started working at, um, at, uh, at Sweet Tees, at, uh, BG, we found out that he was working at, was it New Balance? Oh, fin- no, it was Finish Line. Remember he was working at the shoe store? Yeah, he yeah. was. Oh, yeah. fuck, I forgot and about like, that. And then like, hey, yo, Ryan's working. He's right there. We're like, where? We're like, Finish Line. What the hell? We both go down there. He's in uniform and shit. And I was like. I forgot about that. I was yeah. like, my boy, what's up? How you been? Like, it, it had been like four years since I seen him. Yeah. I was like, my boy, what's up? He was like, working, dog. I was like, I feel like, fuck. What, what is, is good, my boy? boy? How have you been? Like, Raffi. 
Raphael? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know where he is. But, like, it's funny because, like, because of social media, like, and if they post, like, I can still kind of stay connected. No. Like, I, like, I see that they're doing good. So it's like, like I'm like, all right, cool. But, I mean, social media, there's only, only people that are seeking attention will put their, their struggles out there. Yeah. Right? So it's it's very, it's very biased on what you see on social media because for social media, you want everyone to see the best parts of you out there. Be like, oh man, I just had, like, I had a, I just got this, like, I just graduated or I just, I just won this or, you know, like I'm winning at life. So like, I'm going to post this yeah. as like an accomplishment thing to share. So <clears throat> I don't know. It's very interesting. Like even like people that were close, like we both were close with like Arlen. How, like I don't talk, I haven't talked to Arlen since she came through with you like back in like 2018, 2018 my house here. Yeah. When was the last time I saw Arlen? Was it here? Yeah, remember? You guys came through, and then she, and then uh, you had to take her home. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was a while ago. But that, that, that was the last time like we got to like talk and connect. Mm. But I know you talked to her. I don't know how often you talked to her. I know you talked to her way more than me. Talked to her here and there, and then I thought when we do talk to her, we like, talk about some ish. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. It's strange. All right. Um, we'll continue the questions in the next podcast uh, because this is going to be quite long already. So if you guys want to, make sure you subscribe for more content. Uh, give us a thumbs up because you know we're trying to increase our reach and uh, you know make it make us rich, please. Love you. Thanks. Peace out. <laughs>